Hey everybody, Avery here, and today I am doing a watercolor tour. So everything you see here I'm going to be covering in that tour, and plus some watercolor pencils. So yeah, let's get into the watercolor pencils first since I mentioned that. These are my watercolor pencils, and the reason why I didn't show them in the little big thing is because they are in this case that I have, and it's really big. It has a bunch of different stuff in it, but... They ha I know there's a lot of pencils because they're here. Like, I have these things, and they're from the brand Artist Lofts. And I think that's Michael's home brand, so that's why. They're not the greatest, but I have them. And these are the only, like, non-paint color thing that I have. And I have a bunch of, like, I have some water-soluble crayons and stuff, but I'm not going to include those because those are water-soluble, not watercolor stuff. So, I mean, if you think I should have, you could leave, you can say, but I don't, I'm just Next not I'm going, going to be doing my watercolor paper, and here I have the Canson XL watercolor paper with 30 sheets, and at the front it just has a different watercolor, these three pages and the ones that I cut out, and it has like this thing up here, but then the water paper is like this, and it's cold press, I think. Um... Pretty sure it's cold press. Let's see, where does it say? It doesn't say if it's cold press, but it looks cold press. And this top paper that's a different other, the other watercolor paper is also cold press. And also so I forgot to mention that I'm using my iPod that we have. And I'm using iMovie. So if it if you're watching this, that means it works, and I'm gonna be doing all my videos on this instead of my crappy phone. So yeah. So these are the Legion We Are Paper, the Legion paper that I got from Art, all of these I got from Art Snacks, and a bunch of my watercolor stuff I actually got from Art Snacks, so I actually got it in this order. So there's hot press, cold press, and I like to call this the extra smooth press, because you can see the hot press. I don't know if you can kind of see the texture, but the texture is hot press, and then this one's cold press, And but this one, it's like extra smooth. It's like photo paper, and it's actually, it's really good for blending watercolor paper, because it kind of just sits on there, but it it's, it's so cool. Sorry for the, it's really cool. So yeah. That's all the paper, watercolor paper that I have. I have some watercolor brushes, like the brushes that hold water in them. And the only reason I'm showing these and not my other brushes, because my other brushes I kind of use for everything. But these ones I don't really. So these three are all the same brand. And they came in the same package. So the hair, it kind of comes out a little bit. But sorry for my hands, they have paint on them. Because I'm an artist, but if it'll just, you know, the focus. But yeah, the paint, the, the hairs kind of come off of them, and it's not the, sometimes the paint gets into the water, like when you squeeze it and there's still paint on there. Like if I have orange paint on it, the, the water will turn orange instead of staying clear. But now, then I have this one, which I got for our snack stuff. It's the Kurataki one, which everyone uses. But I bought these before I got this, so that's why. And I like this one a lot. I usually use this one, but sometimes if I use other brushes, I can use those. Like if I need a bigger one, I use these ones. But this one's like for small detail work. So yeah, those are all my water brushes. Now we're finally getting into the paint. So the first one is my Winsor & Newton Cotman set. And if we open it up, I have a little, I haven't really used it that much, but I have. Then I have my little swatch sheet that I have here. So focus on it. So there's my swatch sheet. And then here are all of the colors. We have, oh, sorry about that. And then all the colors. I don't really use the white, but it's there and I, it's not really out. And then the brush, which can come undone. And then the other part sticks on the end which I can't really show you because I'm only using my left hand. It's really awkward, but it can stick on the end like that and then you can use it. So I think that's really cool. That's why I, or, but the, and I haven't really used the brush because I'm afraid to, but yeah, I think this is, this set is really cool. 
Sorry for like, my, it's really weird using this camera, but yeah. Okay, so I got, I made kind of like a tripod thing magic. But, so now it won't be as wobbly, but here is, now I can use both my hands. Here is my pearlescent watercolors, and I kind of numbered them. I don't know why, but they're all like, the colors are kind of all out of order. And I use this top area for mixing, and then the bottom area is where all my paints are. And I have decided that once I'm done with this set, I'm going to, like once all the colors are gone, I'm going to clean it out completely. And then I'm going to take off the numbers with like alcohol because, or nail polish remover because I use Sharpie, but I'm going to clean it completely and I'm going to use it as a different palette because I have a bunch of like extra palette, like palettes for extra paints in the future because it's actually a pretty good palette and it can hold a brush. It didn't come with a brush, but it can hold a brush. Like here's just a brush that I have and it can hold it and then it can stay in there. Like if you want to take it places, but I don't really just want to take these, the shiny ones. So I think once I'm done, when these are gone, I'm probably gonna get like a new set of pearlescents and then get, keep this palette for different watercolors. So yeah. So here I have my Artist Loft palette and here are the paints that go in it. And I just have them in this. I have used some of them. And then here's the white that I first got that was like the tiny tube. Like it's way different. It's way smaller than those. But it came in that tin case. It had the colored pencils. So I just don't really use the white. So it's still here. So I still have it. And then here are some of the colors. So if I open this up. I have my little Art Smack sticker on it. It's a... On the bottom there. It's a 12 little like I forgot what these are called but little cups or bowls or whatever I don't I forgot what they're called mixing palette areas for the bot for the little ones and then here is my little swatch sheet and then here's where I mix all my colors as you can see I've had this one the longest so that's why it's so used and then oh, I hit my lamp whoops and then right here in the middle right here I have this core watercolor in indigo. So you can see, it's, very, it's blurry, sorry about that. But as you can see, I got it in the Art Snacks box. And I really want to get a whole set of this because I really love these watercolors. They're amazing. But I have it here, and if I do get a whole set and I'm still using this, I'll just kind of scrape it out and put it in the other palette that I have. So yeah, this is my Art Snacks palette. Next, I have my De La Rowney Simply watercolors. These are like the Walmart home brand. So it has, it came in a set of 24. I just wanted a lot of like different arrays of colors that I couldn't really mix, but I can, but. So this is the case where I'll like keep my tubes and then the palette is, the palette is right here. And I have another little art snack sticker. I have a bunch of them. And this one has 20 wells. But then to get the 24, I made some with hot glue down there, so you can see. And this one I haven't used that much, but I have used them. And there are all the colors. And right there is a engram that I will show you the tube of that I also got in Art Snacks. And then here's my little swatch sheet. So these colors are very vibrant. They're not very dull, so I, I if I want to make kind of like some... I don't really use these for nature-y things. But with my Art Snacks one, it also has this little thing, thumb holder, that you can put your thumb in to hold it. And I think that's really cool. And here are my M. Graham watercolor tubes that I got from Art Snacks. Duh. And this is the color that is in the palette of the Daler and Rowney. It's called Terra Rose, and it's a very rusty color. And then here is a titanium white opaque, and it acts like water, but it's watercolor, but it's almost as opaque as, like, gouache, if you know what that is. So you can put it over a dry watercolor, and it's really, really opaque. So, those are my M. Graham watercolors. And lastly in my collection, I have a little travel set from Daler and Rowney that I have that I got in like a big case from them 
and it comes in this little itty bitty plastic case which I would instead of which has a little tiny brush and all of these and some mixing walls up here and if to travel if I didn't want to bring my Winsor & Newton which I usually don't I would bring this uh, I, I don't really use it I haven't used it at all but I'm guessing but I think they're just like the other Daily Ronnie, which I have used, except in a, in like a cake form or pan form. So I think I would probably use these because they're easily fit inside a pocket. Like they're really small. My hands are really small, so you can't really tell, but it's a really, it's a really small palette. Like this is a 15 mil tool, tube and it's about as long as it and as wide. So that's how much that's what it is so I really hope you like this collection I know I really like I really like watching watercolor collection videos so I hope you like this and I hope you appreciate the better quality in video instead of my crappy phone so because it's just really crappy and it doesn't hold space very well so that's why they're always really short but I really hope you like this video and bye